Hello, and welcome to Game Tales, Dragon Age, the Dreadwolf. In ancient times, only Fen'Harel could walk without fear among both our gods and the Forgotten Ones, for although he is kin to the gods of the people, the Forgotten Ones knew of his cunning ways and saw him as one of their own. And that is how Fen'Harel tricked them. Our gods saw him as a brother, and they trusted him when he said that they must keep to the heavens while he arranged a truce. And the Forgotten Ones trusted him also when he would arrange the defeat of our gods if only the Forgotten Ones would return to the Abyss for a time. They trusted Fen'Harel, and they were all of them betrayed, and Fen'Harel sealed them away so they could never again walk among the people. Fen'Harel, the elven god of betrayal, or the god of rebellion, is also known as the Dread Wolf. He who hunts alone, Lord of Tricksters, the Great Wolf, Roamer of the Beyond, the Old Wolf, and Bringer of Nightmares. He was known as kin to both the Creators and the Forgotten Ones. His supposed betrayal of both clans of gods by sealing them away in their respective realms never again to interact with the mortal world is sometimes used to explain why the elven gods, particularly the benevolent creators, did not intervene to prevent the fall of Arlavan. Indeed, Ben Harel has allegedly never been fond of the elven people and is said to have spent centuries in a far corner of the earth after his great deception hugging himself and giggling madly in glee. The deceit of Fen'Harel itself, known as the Great Betrayal, is sometimes described as a truce suggested by the Dreadwolf, and other times as a hunt by the Creators and the Forgotten Ones in the Heavens and the Abyss respectively, for a blade Fen'Harel promised would not stop a war. It may even have been a bid by Fen'Harel to rule the Fade, or even Elevan itself, without the interference of the other elven gods. The Elish elves generally consider Fen'Harel an evil god. In the past, however, it is said that the Dreadwolf was called upon by elves for aid and advice in various matters, but always with a price. In spite of this, offerings of thanks were often given for Fen'Harel's help, as he did follow through on promises of aid, if in an unorthodox manner. Since the fall of Arlathan, however, this practice has understandably fallen out of favour as a rule. In the modern day, statues of Fen'Harel are set facing away from any Dalish camp, as a reminder that the Dalish must always be wary or else to protect against the evil spirits. Furthermore, keepers wore rings of slime and wood depicting Fen'Harel's betrayal the elven gods, as a reminder of their duty to protect their clan from him. Despite this weariness, Fen'Harel is reputed by the Dalish to continue to interact with elves in their dreams, sporting with them or dispensing dark knowledge at his whim. He is also said to gleefully patrol the Fade feasting on the souls of the dead. In spite of Fen'Harel's reputation, however, 
he has been known to him be invoked by daily shells to express dismay at unexpected events by the Dreadwolf. To demand the annihilation of an enemy, Dreadwolf take you. When all seems lost and there's a weary farewell, may the Dreadwolf never hear your steps. Furthermore, some daily shelves still erect shrines to him and make offerings, perhaps as a form of appeasement, but still a sign that the fearful weariness in which the Dreadwolf is held by modern day elves is not absolute. Dealish elves do still honour Fenherel in their own way. It is simply not the same as how the other gods are worshipped. Dealish elves do not bring statues of him with them as they might do with those of the creators, as he has always remained outside of elven camps, and nevertheless remain a way to honour him no matter where they are. Therefore, Fenharel statues remain common in the Dales, at large in any place outside of a Dalish settlement, explaining their comparative ubiquity. We lost eternity, or the ruined tree of the people. Time won't help when the land of dreams is no longer our journey. We try to lead, despite the eventual failing of our markings, to the inevitable and troubling freedom we are committed. But we could no longer believe we lost glory to war. When the wolf failed, we lost the people to war.